Problem number one reads, in the circuit below, find A, the equivalent resistance, and B, the current through the battery. The circuit consists of a three volt battery, three resistors that are connected in parallel, which in turn are connected to two other resistors in series. Find the equivalent resistance of the entire circuit and the current through the battery, let's call the current the current I. Before watching the solution to this problem, try to solve the problem yourself. Here is our circuit redrawn on our electronic blackboard using the conventional symbols for a battery and resistor. The first thing we want to do is to find the equivalent resistance of the circuit. Before doing that, we want to find the equivalent resistance of these three resistors that are in parallel. We want to isolate them. Let's take them out of the circuit and we'll put them over here for a moment and calculate the equivalent resistance of this parallel combination, the reciprocal, calling it R sub P. The reciprocal of that resistance is the sum of the reciprocals of the individual resistors. So it's 1 over 2 plus 1 over 4 plus 1 over 6, all of these in ohms. I'll let you add those reciprocals and then take the reciprocal of the result and confirm the fact that R sub P, when rounded to three significant figures, should give you 1.09 ohms. All right, let's go back and substitute that in. Let's call the spare resistance down here 1.09 ohms and we will take that resistor and patch it in up here. So that replaces those three resistors in parallel. Now we have three resistors in series. 0.1 ohm resistance which is the internal resistance of the battery, 1.09 ohms and 3 ohms. Again, let's take this part of the circuit and we will add those resistors up. The series resistance is simply the sum of the individual resistors, 0.1 plus 1.09 plus 3, all of them in ohms, gives me 4.1 nine ohms. So we can replace the three resistors in series by 4.19 ohms. This will be then the equivalent resistance of the whole circuit. Let's go back and label this 4.19 ohms and let's cut it out and place it back up in our circuit. All right, so that's the answer to part A. Part B, we want to find out the current through this circuit, this current through the battery, and using Ohm's law, the current would be equal to potential difference divided by the resistance. So we're talking here about the EMF of the battery divided by the equivalent resistance of the circuit. And that is 3 volts divided by 4.19 ohms. And that gives us 0.71 six amperes. So that is the current through the battery. I'm rounding my answers to three significant figures. I'm assuming that all our data are accurate to three significant figures whether stated or otherwise. You may differ in your answer in the last significant figure. That is not a problem that simply indicates rounding errors either on your calculator or my calculator. 
All right, that is the answer to our problem. Let us move on then to our next problem.